Welcome to Battle of the Brains. I'm Monica Sinha, the MC for the event. Before I introduce the teams, I would like to brief you a little about the competition. The 21st century skills, problem solving, reasoning, and critical thinking are going to be put to test. The competition has four rounds. The first three rounds have two sub rounds each. The first round is patterns and it has two sub rounds. The second round is logical reasoning and this too has two sub rounds. The third round is find the fault in the question and again comprises of two sub rounds. The final round is the rapid fire. Questions will be delivered in rapid succession. This can give you a key advantage and can be a game changer. Let me introduce the six teams of little mathematicians from classes one and two who are geared up to fight the battle of the brains. The teams are named after the famous mathematicians of the world. Team one is Aryabhatta, named after the great mathematician and astronomer of ancient India. The members are Shivalik Modgil CBSC 1A and Shriya Kasture CBSC 2A. Team two is Ramanujan, named after one of India's greatest mathematical geniuses, Srinivasan Ramanujan. Its members are Gopalakrishna Sayampu CBSC 1A and Pranav Sham CBSC 2B. Team three is Pythagoras, named after the famous Greek philosopher and founder of the Pythagoras theorem. The members are Tamiz Nandan Shanmuga Kumar, CBSC 1B, and Vivan Malkoti of PYP 2A. Team four is Fibonacci, named after the famous Italian mathematician, also known as Leonardo Bonacci. The members are Arjun Vidyut Vignesh, CBSC 1B, and Abhi Nanoti, PYP 2B. Team Bhaskara, the fifth team, is named after the famous Indian mathematician and astronomer Bhaskaracharya. The members are Haley Krisha Fernandez of PYP 1A and Sri Shukla of CBSC 2C. Team six is Thales, named after the Greek mathematician Thales of Miletus. The members are Harshika Chandelia, PYP 1B, and Sanvi C. Rao, CBSC 2D. All the participants are maths champions in their sections and have been working hard for the challenge. We wish you good luck. May the best team win. I would like to invite our vice principal, Ms. Rekha Varghese, to meet the participants and wish them good luck. Good morning, students. Good morning, teachers. And good morning to all of you who are uh, watching from their homes. Um, to me, this is a very exciting event which is happening. Great students of grade one and two uh, testing their math skills in a quiz competition because maths is a, a fun thing, fun subject that when I go to classes and check with the students, one of the subjects that they all say that they enjoy doing is mathematics. Now, what more fun can it be uh, by in, I mean, doing it through a quiz competition. This is another way of learning a subject, right? When you are, you may not be uh, participating, those who are in the attendance list, they may not uh, be directly participating, but definitely when you look at the questions, make sure, try to solve it at your homes and see how much you can, um, uh, what all you can solve. Now to those who are already in the participant list, uh, I mean, who already are the team members, I wish you all the best. Uh, you have been shortlisted because you did well during those uh, initial rounds that you have been uh, doing. And I'm sure it's going to be fun and exciting for you. So this time it is, uh, you have got the chance to participate in this uh, competition. Next time we may have different um, uh, competitions for others to participate as well. So wish you all the best, enjoy it. It's not about just 
uh, winning or who is going to get a number of scores or who is going to be the topper and all that. Enjoy while you're participating. Uh, enjoy the questions, understand the questions, and have best fun you can. Thank you all. Thank you, ma'am. We can set the ball rolling. Are you all ready? Before we begin, yes. I would request the parents of the participants not to be near them in the same room. These kids are confident enough to face the battle alone. Their devices have already been checked and are working fine. All the teams are requested to be on mute unless it is your turn. The digital timer will be visible to you. We do have teachers monitoring the physical timer as well, should there be any doubt, and the decisions will be final. We will start with round one, patterns. The rules are, each correct answer gives you five points. Only the first answer will be accepted. There are four options for each question. Choose the correct one. And the time for answering each question is 60 seconds. We begin with team Arya Bhatta. Please unmute. Your question is, Next in the series, wait, 11, 14, 9, 12, 7, 10, dash. And your options are A15, B6, C5, or D13. And your time starts now. 15. I think it's 5 because C11, it's it's even an odd numbers first of all because 14 plus 14 minus 2 equal 12 12 minus 2 equal 10 then it will be all it will be an odd number it's definitely not b it will be 11 minus um, 11 minus 2 equal 9 9 minus 2 equals 7. So 7 minus 2 will equal 5. Time is running out, please. Quick. Is it 5? Yes. I think it's 5. Do you agree? Uh, yes. Ma'am, it's 5. We'll no, take that sorry. answer. Okay. We'll take that answer. Let's see the correct answer. The correct answer is displayed. It is C5. Please be on mute now. What comes next in the series? 65, 75, 70, 80, 75, 85, dash. And your options are A75, B80, C65, or D70. Your time starts now. We are now beginning this. We can just take uh, uh we can just take eighty because uh, because sixty five then seventy five. Oh, then Kala, I think it is eighty. No, I think it is eighty. Or you can just take six again. Or you can just take eighty five. After that. Uh, Again, I can take 65 like that. Uh. No, but oh. I think it's 80, Gopala. Shall we agree with this? Shall we agree with this 80? Yeah, I also agree. I thought I also agree the same answer. Time okay. is running out. Our final answer is 80, ma'am. Okay, we'll take it as 80. The correct answer will be displayed. It is B80. Please be on mute now. The next question is for Pythagoras. Pythagoras, please unmute. Your question is, what comes next in the series? 4, 8, 5, 9, 6, 10, dash. And your options are A14, B7, C9, or D13. 
and your time starts now. I four plus eight equal four plus four equals eight. Eight minus four five. Five plus four nine. Nine minus nine eight. minus six. Six plus four is ten. So ten minus three, maybe maybe it's B actually because if we had if our we had, answer, I think it's fourteen or it's seven actually because we are if sixteen plus four equal ten, ten plus minus ten minus but three no, equals seven. Four plus Four equals eight. Eight plus four. If you have the final answer, the final answer is fourteen. Okay, we'll take it as a fourteen. Or let's see whether it's correct or not. Yes, yeah, no, the My correct friend. answer is displayed. It is B seven. Please be on mute now. The next question is for Fibonacci team. Please unmute. Your question is, what comes next in the series? 17, 23, 19, 25, 21, 27, dash. And your options are A, 33, B, 32, C, 23, or D, 24. And your time starts now. So, Arjun, the difference between 17 and 23 is actually 6. So, 17 and 23 is 6. And 23 minus 6 is 17. No, then 23, which if that's 17, 6. So, then that, that minus is 4. 23 minus 4 equals to 9. Right, Arjun? Yes. So then 19 plus 6 is 25, then minus 4 is 21, then add 6 is 27. So Arjun, shall we answer 23? Yes. Ma'am, our final answer is 23. Yes. Okay, we'll take it as 23. The correct answer is displayed. It is C23. Please be on mute now. The next question is for Team Bhaskara. Please unmute yourselves. And your question is, what comes next in the series? 52, 48, 58, 54, 64, dash. And your options are A60, B54, C58, or D62. Your time starts now. So they're minusing four to two, so so 54, 64, they are adding 10, then the 8 minus the 8, 4. So then, so 64 minus 4, 64 minus 4 equals 16. How about you? Should we take that? Yes. yes. Out. Okay, we'll take it as 60. Let's yes. see the answer. Yes. Yeah, it is A60. Please be on mute now. The next question is for Thales. Please unmute. And your question is, What comes next in the series? 45, 48, 54, 57, 63, dash. 
Your options are A69, B67, C66, or D68. And your time starts now. Thales, I hope you're solving. Thales, this is your question. Time is running out. I think it's going to be a quick, quick. I'm sorry, time's up. I'm very sorry. The correct answer is C66. Please be on mute now. The first sub round is over. Get set for the next sub round. This question is for Team Arya Bhatta. Please unmute. And your question is replace the question mark. A series of patterns is given, and your options are A, B, C, or D. Your time starts now. Sivlik, I think the answer is D because the first one, the arrow is pointing, the black spot is pointing down. The second one is pointing up. Then it's pointing then one, the second step, one step up, then the down one. Then it's pointing and up, but not at the top. And one step on down. down. So it should be it's done. 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 It's the middle one. Our answer is middle, ma'am. I mean D. Are you confident about it? Yeah. Yes. It's so should D. we take? Can you repeat your answer? D. D. Answer D. D. Okay. We'll take D as final. <laughs> well, the correct answer is D. Please mute yourself. Replace the question mark. Your options are A, B, C, or D. Then now, Robert, see, for a triangle, it had three sides. For a square, it got the four sides. Gopala, Gopala, I think it's A because a triangle has three sides, a square has four sides. Dash after that, a hexagon has a three is five is six sides, and then um, and then a heptagon has seven sides. So I guess it is A. Yeah, in the key earlier because uh, I agree A has five sides earlier. Ma'am, my final answer is A. Okay, their answer is A. The correct answer is displayed. It is A. Please be on mute now. The next question is for Pythagoras. Pythagoras, please unmute yourselves. Your question is, replace the question mark. And your options are A, B, C, or D. And your time starts now. Um, Vivan? Yeah? What can we choose as the answer? I think the first, the arrow is pointing this side. Then the dot is in the below part. Then it reaches this, this part. Then 
the it should be the other part. I think it's I, a. I think it's a actually. Yeah, me too. So our final answer is a. Okay, I'll take that. The answer is a. That's what they have said. Let's see. Yes. The correct answer is A. Please be on mute. Well, the teams are doing very well. The next question is for Fibonacci. Please unmute. And your question is replace the question mark. Your options are A, B, C, or D. And your time starts now. So, the, actually, yes. Abir? Arjun, it's a pattern. See, like it's this triangle down and circle up. Then it's the opposite side. Then it's triangle and circle down. And then it's the, again, the, this, this thing. Go up and then this should go down. Wait. Let me just look at this. One, two, so then three. Arjun, do you think the answer is A? I think the answer is uh, C. Arjun, no. See, the circle was up and the triangle was down yeah. and now the... Yeah. And now the circle... Your final answer, please. A. Yeah, uh, A, A. Okay, we'll take it as A. And time's up now. The correct answer is C. C. Please be on mute now. This question is for Bhaskara. Please unmute Bhaskara. And your question is, replace the question mark. Your options are A, B, C, or D. Mm -hmm. And your time starts now. It, uh, Haley, it should be C, right? I can yeah. Okay. So, because the, because this is the, because they are uh, decreasing by one. So, it, uh, and fewer is four. So, it should be C. Our, our, yeah. final answer, our final answer should be C. Final answer should be yeah. C. Okay, we'll take C as your answer. Yes. We'll secure yes. it. Okay, they say that the answer is C. The correct answer is C. Well done. Please be on mute now. The next question is for Thales. Thales, please unmute. And your question is, replace the question mark. Your options are A, B, C, or D. And your time starts now. So it's like, it's like a circle and it's cut. So now it's supposed to be d right mm -hmm. our final answer is d okay should i secure this answer yes d? yes the last option d okay fine we'll take it as d well the correct answer is d I get five points. Now let us see how the teams have done in round one. Very soon the score sheet will be displayed. Okay, it's here at the end of round one. Team Aryabhatta has scored 10 points, Ramanujan 10, 
Pythagoras 5, Fibonacci 5, Bhaskara 10, and Thales 5. Great going. Things are getting more interesting as we start round two. This has questions which require you to reason logically. We'll just go through the rules. I can answer the other group question also. Each correct answer gives you five points. Only the first answer will be accepted. The time for answering each question is 60 seconds. Now remember, these are not multiple choice questions. All the participants are requested to be on mute unless it is their turn. Now the instructions are displayed. Please go through these. We start this round. Now this question is for Arya Bhatta. Please unmute yourselves. And your question is, the weight of each side of the balance is 20 kilograms. Guess the weight of the different shapes. Now remember, the weight of the green shape, that is the circle, is given as 3 kilogram. Find the weight of the other two shapes. And your time starts now. Okay, Shivrik. First of all, I know the weight for the orange shape. I Because, see, the circle... It says it's three, so two circles must be six. Then the other side, the circle must be nine. So together there are nine. The circles are nine together, but the circles are nine together. But then the and. Um, if and then the triangle. 20, it should be between 11, the gap. What gap? So. Quick. The orange it? one is, I think, 6 I'm and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's a time is up. We can't grant you that. Let's take a look at the correct answer. The correct and answer is 7 and 17. Yeah, I was, I was doing that. Please mute yourselves. This question, the next question is for Ramanujan. Ramanujan, please unmute. And your question is, the weight of each side of the balance is 14 kilograms. Guess the weight of the different shapes. The weight of the purple shape, that is the triangle, is given as 2 kilograms. Find the weight of the, of the other two shapes. And your time starts now. Gopala? Yes? I think that the weight of the purple circle is 18. And I think the green shape is 1. I think the same as a blend over. I think uh, we can just take uh, uh, what you said, the numbers I forgot. 18 and no, 2 and 1. Okay, let's say we can take 2 and 1 now. No, wait, it's 14. So wait. Oh, so yeah, 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 yeah. This will be, so this will be 12. Okay. Yes. And then this will be 12. Okay, so this will be one. So our so our answer is twelve. The purple circle is twelve, and the hexagon is one. Okay, then we we'll, I'll take that answer because I agree with that answer. Then my final answer is one. Uh, no, is 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 two and oh, one. Time is up. Okay, I'll take it. What you have given twelve and one. Okay, twelve is the hexagon, and one is the circle. No, you did it the other way around. I'm sorry, we can't give you. Okay, please mute. The next question is for Pythagoras. Please unmute. And your question is... Hmm. 
The weight of each side of the balance is 24 kilograms. Guess the weight of the different shapes. Now note the weight of the dark pink shape, that is the heart, is given as 2 kilograms. Find the weight of the other two shapes. And your time starts now. Leon, what's the weight of the heart? is 2. So 2, 2, 4. So the, it equals, so the square will be 20. Now 20, the moon will be 4. Right? Right? I, yes. Okay. So, uh, so our uh, final answer is the square is 20 and the moon is 4. Okay, I'll take that as your final answer. The square yes. is 20 and the moon is 4. Yes. Can we see the correct the answer, please? Yes. Okay. Yes. Like. The green shape is 20 and the moon is 4. Please be on, um, on mute mode now. The next question is for Fibonacci. Fibonacci, please unmute. And your question is, the weight of each side of the balance is 16 kilograms. Guess the weight of the different shapes. Now remember, the weight of the purple shape, that is the drop, is given as 3, three kilograms. Find the weight of the other two shapes. And please give the answer in the same order as asked. So, Arjun, yes. is weight dropping 3 and it's all six, 16, then if the there's only one heart and one trapezoid. So, mm -hmm. the two drops must equal 6. So, we... So maybe the heart must be uh, the, the answer. What, but what do you think, Arjun? I think the heart is the answer. No, you need to ask both the shapes. So if both the drops equal to 6 and that's 16, so maybe the heart will equal to 1 and trapezoid will equal to 9? Yeah, I think so. So, ma'am, our final answer is the heart is one and the trapezoid is nine. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Aesthetic. Okay. The heart or the green shape is one and the blue shape is nine. Is that so? Yes, ma'am. No. Okay. Let's see. Ten the is heart is ten and the blue shape, the quadrilateral is sixteen. Mm. Please be on mute mode now. The next question is for Team Bhaskara. Please unmute and your question is, the weight of each side of the balance is nine kilogram. Guess the weight of the different shapes. Now remember the weight of the green shape, the diamond is given as two kilogram. Find the weight of the other two shapes. And your time starts now. The the circle uh, the circle should be a uh, five, and the rect and the rectangle should be four. So, what do you think? Yeah, I think the circle should be five, and the rectangle should be four. So, uh, five. Uh, the 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 orange the orange the circle equals to so our final answer is the circle equals to five and the and the and the rectangle equals to four. Okay, I'll yeah. take it as that. Are you sure? Okay. Yeah, I'm sure. The, uh, the final answer is the circle is five and the square is four. Let's see. Yes, it is right. Absolutely right. Please be on mute now. The next question is for Thales. Thales, please unmute. And your question is, the weight of each side of the balance is 12 kilogram. Guess the weight of the different shapes. Now, the weight of the orange shape, the quadrilateral, is given as 5 kilogram. Find the weight of the other two shapes. And your time starts now. So the drop over here, it's like four. Mm -hmm. So 
then these moon is like um six, right? Mm -hmm. That's our final answer. Four and six. Six is for the moon and four. No, I don't think it's that. I don't think it's that. I think the heart is five. It's not heart. I mean the, you know, whatever that thing is. The green. Yeah. No, I think the water drop is five. Can we have your final answer quick? What do you think for the moon? No, I think the moon is seven. I'm afraid time's up. We can't grant you that. Let's see the correct answer. Okay, the moon is seven and the drop is five. Please be on mute now. This question is for Arya Bhatta. Please unmute yourselves and your question is, five trees are planted from end to end along a road. The distance between every two trees is three meters. How long is the but road? The time was your time right. starts now. Because um, I said something. If, like, if the tree is, is three meter, then three plus three is six. Yes. Oh. Then six plus three equals nine. Nine. Yeah, and nine plus three is um, twelve. Twelve. Yeah, twelve. So the answer should be twelve. Twelve plus three, right? Twelve plus three equals fifteen. Yeah. Wait. So is it twelve or fifteen? Twelve. It's twelve. Okay. Should we should we freeze that answer? Twelve. Um, uh, no, ma'am. Fifteen. Okay. Okay. Like, I think it's fifteen. 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 Okay. We'll take your answer as fifteen, and I'm locking that. Fifteen. Let's see the correct answer. Fifteen. Well, I'm afraid the correct answer is twelve meters. I did say that. Now, please be on mute. The next question is for Ramanujan. Please unmute yourselves. And your question is, how many pigs will be equal to the length of this house, which is shown in the picture here? You can see the pig. And your time starts now. And now we see it. The pig is standing in the front is uh, the nose is up to one and the 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 neck is up to two then the then the in the middle the, the thing is up to three they say this one is come to four and this one come to five they say we can take one more pig here that will come the same like the other pig so we will take one two Three, four, four. We can take and four our final steps. answer is four. Is okay. Shall I lock it? Four? Yes. Sir. Yes. Okay. Let's see the final answer. They have given it as four. And the correct answer is four pigs. Wow. Please be on mute now. The next question is for Pythagoras. Pythagoras, please unmute. And your question is? Hmm. What is the total length of the tree given that the length of the girl is six meters? Your time starts now. Uh, Viva? Wait. So the girl is six meters tall. Then five meters below from the ground. So five plus six equals 11. 11 plus 13 equals 24. Uh, maybe our final answer is 24. 
Our yeah. final answer is 24. 24, 24? Yeah. Okay. Yes. You're confident about it? Okay, we'll take it as 24. Yes. Let's see. Yes. Well, the answer is 24. We got 15 meters. points. We got 15 points. Okay. So now please be on mute mode. This question is for Fibonacci. Please unmute and your question is, one more tree is planted in the gap between each of the two trees. So how many trees are there in all? Your time starts now. So Arjun, if one tree is planted in the gap between each of the two trees, then how many? So like if we choose those two trees, the one on the top and the one on the right side. So now how many trees are there in all? So one more tree is planted in the gap between each of the two trees. So the gap is one and then two. So two is here and three is here. Then four is here. Okay. So then four plus two is... Six. Arjun, do you think it's six? Because because when you put two more trees in the gap of two trees. Yes, Your I final know. answer, please. Six. Our final answer is six. Six. Decided? Yes. yes. Okay, we'll take it as six as the final answer. Well, I'm afraid it is eight trees. Please be on mute now. The next question is for Bhaskara. Please unmute Bhaskara. And your question is, this is Toyland. Here, the road is 45 inches long. How many toy cars can be parked along the road in a row, one after another? And your time starts now. I think it should be nine. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's nine. It should be nine. So was because when we skip count the five, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, we see that uh, we when we uh, when we finish counting and when we uh, when and when we see uh, five is one, we count like that. Then then. So uh, then you will see forty five is nine. So so uh, answer is nine cars. The final answer is nine. The cars. final answer I'll take it yes. as nine cars. Yes, okay. yes, that is the final answer. Nine cars. Yes. Let's check. Yes, confident. Well, the correct answer is nine cars. Please be on mute. This question is for Thales. Thales, please unmute. Your question is, a road is 20 meters long. A tree will be placed at every two meters interval along the road, excluding the two ends. How many trees will be there? And your time starts now. I think the answer is nine. Yeah. I'm sure. And final answer is nine for sure. No, I think it's eight. No, it's nine. No, I think it's eight. Okay. Final answer is eight. Okay. We'll, should we uh, freeze eight? Yes. Yes. Okay, the final answer is eight. Eight trees. Let's check the answer. The correct answer is displayed. It is nine trees. Please be on mute mode now.
Okay, let us see how the teams have done in round two and very soon the score, score sheet is going to be displayed. Okay, we can see the score sheet. In round two, Aryabhatta did not score. Ramanujan, 10 points. Pythagoras, 10. Fibonacci, yet to score. Bhaskara, 10. And Thales, also no points. The competition is getting exciting. And I'm sure your classmates are cheering you virtually now. We are about to begin round three. Well, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Round three is find the fault. Your question will have three statements out of which one will be false. You have to find the false statement from the options. Now let's see the, the rest of the rules. Each correct answer gives you five points. Only the first answer will be accepted. There are four options for each question. Choose the correct one. The time for answering each question is 60 seconds. All the teams are asked to mute themselves unless it is your turn. Now remember, only the first answer will be accepted. The first question is for Aryabhatta. Please unmute. And your question is? I am a three-digit three number. Your st the statements given to you are statement one, I am greater than 100, but smaller than 300. Statement two is my three digits add up to 15. And statement three, the digit in my hundreds place is the greatest one digit number. The number given to you is 177. Which of the options is false? Which of the statement is false? Okay, be careful. The statement has to be false. Option A, statement one is false. Option B, statement two. Or option C, statement three. Your time starts now. I think it's the I think second. it's the last one. I think it's the second one. No, no. Give me siblings. the options in A, B, or C. Great. First of all, it says here I am. Oh. So it's one seventy-seven. The last thing say the last the last sentence says digit at my hundredth place is the greatest one digit number. Means the hundredth place is nine. The second one is my three digits. I my think three digits like add up to fifteen. I Can think I have the option, please. Second one. Okay. Second. A, B, or C? Quick. Second. Second. I think no. it's B. 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 Second. B? Okay, I'll take it as B. Yeah, because B. It's add up to. I've taken yeah, it as. B. B only. I've taken it as B, statement two. Can we see the correct answer? Well, C. the correct answer is C, statement three. Please be on mute now. The next question is for Ramanujan. Please unmute. Your question is, I'm a two digit number. The statements are statement one, greater than 91 and smaller than 101. Statement two, my ones digit is odd. Statement three, the digit in my tens place is the sum of the smallest one digit number and the greatest one digit number. The number given to you is 95 and your options are A, statement two, B, statement three and C, statement one. You have to find the fault. And your time starts now. 
Gopala, I think yes. it's free because it's greater than one ninety point is greater than ninety one, but smaller than one hundred and one. And my one digit is odd is, but my tens place is the sum of the smallest one digit number and the greatest. So the smallest is one and the greatest is nine, which is ten. So it will be one hundred and five. So, uh, so the third statement is false. Yeah, I think it is the same. I, I, I just agree. Okay, Ma'am, my the... final answer is B. B statement three is that so? Yes. Yes. Okay. We'll take B statement three as the final answer. and the final answer is displayed it is b statement 3 please be on mute now the next question is for pythagoras please unmute and your question is i am a three digit number statement 1 my hundreds digit is an odd number which is bigger than 1 but smaller than 5 Statement two: The ones digit is twenty less than twenty-seven. Statement three: The sum of the three digits is thirteen, and the number given to you is three hundred and seventy-three. Your options are A. Statement two, B. Statement one, or C. Statement three. And your time starts now. So, um, Vivan, what does my hundred digit my hundred is the odd number, which is Bigger than one, I know, and yeah. but smaller than five, so that's correct. Yeah, but one's so digit one is less than twenty. And one's digit is twenty, and and, and uh, less than seven. Is twenty. Yes. No, maybe it's A. Our final answer is the first one. A. Our final answer is A. Should I take three? I A, think two. I think it's I I I C. Quick, quick. A. Uh, it's maybe A because because some of the, that or okay. because the I will find it. Because the B two A statement two. I I will find it. Okay, that's the last B. we could do. I'm sorry. Time's up. We'll take it as A statement two. Let's see. Yes. Okay. It is A statement two. <laughs> Please be on mute now. Yes. Okay. The next question is for Fibonacci. Fibonacci, please unmute. And your question is: I'm a two-digit number. Statement one. Smaller than ninety and bigger than ten. Statement two: the sum of digits is one less than ten. Statement three: the tenth digit is an odd number, and the number given to you is seventy-one. Your options so are I, A. Statement I, one, B. Statement two, or C. Statement three. And your time starts now. Your so I joined seventy-one. Abir, I joined. Actually, I mean, that I mean, smaller yes? than ninety and bigger than ten. That is, that means yeah. So I actually seven seventy uh, seventy nine and uh, ninety between those two numbers. Arjun, I think it my sum of digit is less than. Is one less than ten because one less than ten is nine in seven plus one is eight. Shall we go for uh, the I I uh, I I I? Let's go. Give me the option A, B, or C. C. Uh, no, Arjun. Arjun, C. My ten digit is an odd wait, number. Wait. That's right. It's C. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's B. It's B. We give our final answer. B for bat. B for bat, yeah. B for bat. Times up. Times up. So I'm taking it as B. B. Yeah. Statement two. Yeah. Well, the correct answer is B. Statement two. Please be on mute now. The next question is for Bhaskara. 
Please unmute. And your question is? I am a three-digit number. The statements are statement one. And greater than less than nine. Statement two, my ones digit is greater than zero, but smaller than three. Statement three, the tens digit is an even number. And the number given to you is 168. Your options are A, statement two is false. B, statement one is false. Or C, statement three is false. And your time starts now. Okay, Haley. So if if we read the two, my ones digit, say saying ones digit is greater than zero over that. That's correct, but smaller than three. So it is not smaller than three. So it should be a two. Our final answer. Yeah. How about you? Namas. Yeah. Our final answer is a. Yes. Statement. A two. statement two. Well, that was quick. Now let's check. Oh, that was a good uh, reply. Okay. The correct answer is A, statement two. Now, please be on mute. The next question is for Thales. Please unmute yourself. And your question is, I'm a two-digit number. And the statements are, statement one, I'm smaller than 100. Statement two, my tens digit is an even number. Statement three, the difference between ten, the tens digit and ones digit is the smallest one-digit number. The number given to you is 88. Your options are A, statement two, B, statement one, or C, statement three. And your time starts now. So I think it's going to be I. I think it's going to be the third statement. It can't be the third statement. It can. But I think it's I. No, it's not I. Okay, let's just go with your answer. I really know it's third statement. Okay, it's third statement. Give me the option A, B, or C. C, third C. statement. Okay, I'll, I'll freeze that answer. Yes. Okay. C is the final answer. Can we check that, please? Well, the correct answer is C, third statement. Please be on mute now. The next question is for Arya Bhatta. Arya Bhatta, please unmute. And your question is, it is Tom's birthday. He is five years old. On his first birthday, he got one candle. On his second birthday, he got two. On his third birthday, he got three and so on. How many candles will he have had so far in total? And your, and your statements are statement one, five plus four plus three plus two plus one. Statement two, four plus three plus two plus one. Statement three, 15. And your options are A, statement one, B, statement 2, or C, statement 3. Find the fault. And your time starts now. So what do you think it is? I think it's A. I also think it is... I think it's too shivlik. It's shivalik. Shivalik, sorry. The answer is B. I can't do it. Okay. B. B. Should, B. should I freeze? B. Statement two? Uh, I think yes. I think it's first one. No. No, yes, two. First. Sorry. No. B. 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 Ma'am, the okay. answer is B. Okay. I'll take B. Statement two as your final answer. Can we check that, please? The correct answer is B, statement two. Please be on mute now. Why we correct? The next question is for Ramanujan. Please unmute. And your question is, 
Reena started her studies at 4.30 p.m. and finished it in half an hour and then went down to play in the park at 6 p.m. The statements are, statement one, Reena studied 30 minutes. Statement two, Reena studied one hour 30 minutes. Statement three, Reena finished her studies at 5 p.m. And your options are A, statement two, B, statement three, or C, statement one. Find the fault and your time starts now. Uh, Gopala? Yes? I think it's B because Reena studied for one hour and 30 minutes, but half an hour is only 30 minutes. So, so yeah. how is that possible? Yeah, no, is... no, no. One hour means 60 seconds. Yeah. Yeah, she studied for one hour and 30 minutes. Well, that's uh, not possible. I didn't learn that joke before. Our final answer is B, ma'am. Yeah, our final answer is B only. Okay, I'll... No, wait, it's A, A. B, statement A, 3. A, 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 A. Wait, okay, quick. A, it's I it's guess it's A. A. I'll, I'll freeze A now. Is that is that so? Yes. Okay, we are taking their change. It is A. We'll take it because they still have time. So I'll take A as the final answer. A, statement 2. The correct answer is... A statement two. Please be on mute now. The next question is for Pythagoras. Please unmute and your question is Tony got 3000 milliliters of milk. 500 milliliters milk get spilled. And the statements are, statement one, two liters and 500 milliliters is left. Statement two, 2,500 grams is left. Statement three, 2,500 milliliters is left. And your options are A, statement three, B, statement one, or C, statement two. Find the fault and your time starts now. Wait, it's the way about ground. It's only so our our final answer is C. Wait. Don't no, that is actually correct. The C is correct. We have to find the wrong one out. But two letters are with with three millimeters are left. That's wrong, right? Let's Let's do the second one. Yes, B. Our final answer is B, ma'am. B no, statement C. one? C. Is it C. B statement one? C. Our final answer is C. Yes, C. Our final okay. answer is C. C statement two. Okay, I'll take C statement two as your final answer. Can we check, please? Yes. The correct answer yes. is C, statement two. Please be on mute now. That was the one saying. The next question is for Fibonacci. Please unmute. And your question is, the number shown by the blocks below is the same as dash. Statement one, 196 is equal to 200 minus four. Statement two, 100 plus 90 plus 6 is equal to 196. Statement 3, 100 minus 90 plus 6 is equal to 196. Your options are A, statement 3, B, statement 2, or C, statement 1. Find the fault and your time starts now. So, uh, Arjun, the first line of the top the biggest block, the first line is 10, and there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So, 10, so 10, if you add 10 times, you get 100, right? Yes. So then, and these are also blocks of 10. So, then 1, 2, 3, 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन ब्लॉक्स सो वन हंड्रेड एंड नाइनटीन एंड देन वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सो वन हंड्रेड एंड नाइनटी सिक्स इक्वल टू माइनस टू सी आंसर इज सी सी स्टेटमेंट वन yes it's c statement it's they have given it as c statement one let's check the answer the correct answer is e statement 3 please be on mute now the next question is for bhaskara please unmute and your question is what is the greatest even number that can be formed using the digits 3 6 and 7 the statements are statement 1 700 plus 6 tens plus 3 ones statement 2 736 statement 3 700 plus 30 plus 6 and your options are a statement 3 b statement 1 or c statement 2 find the fault and your time starts now this given number that can be formed a form which is given that is the greatest even number the greatest even number that can be formed using the get digits given below is hmm 367 so the greatest even number is 6 so yeah so the no greatest even number so so 7 so a so, so b So B because it because it. Time is up. I'm afraid. Time is up. Let's see the correct answer. The correct answer is B. Statement one. Please be on mute now. Then. Next question is for Thales. Please unmute. And your question is: What will be the time after fifty-five minutes if it's evening now? The statements are: Statement one, ten minutes to five p.m. Statement two, ten minutes past five p.m. And uh, statement three, five ten p.m. And your options are: A, statement three; B, statement two; C, statement one. You are going to find the fault. And your time starts now. I think it's like C statement one. Yeah, C statement one maybe. Let's take that as our final answer. Yes. Okay. You feel C statement one is false? Is that so? Yes. Okay. We'll take it as C statement one. Can we check the answer? It is C statement one. Please mute. Very soon you'll be seeing the score sheet. Well, the score sheet is up. Your overall score so far is Arya Bhatta fifteen points, Ramanujan thirty points. Pythagoras twenty five, Fibonacci ten, Bhaskara twenty five, and Thales fifteen. Well done. The next round is the rapid fire round. The rapid fire round, as the name suggests, is for you to answer the questions rapidly. This round is to be answered by the team leaders only. You will be asked the next question only if you have answered the previous. Now let's see the rules. 
each correct answer gives you five points. Only the first answer will be accepted. Listen to the questions carefully to answer correctly. Each team will be asked maximum eight questions in 45 seconds. Team leader may say pass to move on to the next question in case you are not sure about the answer. Remember, if you do not wish to answer a question, do remember to say pass. It is advisable to say pass quickly if you don't know the answer so that you can go to the next question without wasting time. We now begin the rapid fire round. Arya Bhatta, are you ready? Your team leader, Shriya Kasture, will answer. The others are requested to be on mute. Your, very soon, we'll see the questions on the screen and I'll be firing the questions at you. Arya Bhatta, your time starts now. Double of 25. Double of 25. 52. Largest three digit number. Nine in, 999. 20 more than 15. 35. If today is Monday, what day was it before yesterday? Today is Monday, Monday, Monday. Saturday. 10 tens make 20. True or false? False. In a queue, every second person is a girl. I'm afraid time's up. I'll have to stop now. Team Ramanujan, it's your turn for the rapid fire. Your team leader, Pranav, will answer. Shyam, Pranav Shyam, please unmute. The others are requested to be on mute mode now. Very soon, your questions will be displayed and your time starts now. Half of 44. 22. Smallest three-digit number plus one. 101. 30 more than 20. 50. If today is Tuesday, what day will it be day after tomorrow? Thursday. Five tens and eight ones make 58. True or false? True. In a string, every second bead is green. Will the seventh bead be also green? Yes. No. False. How many faces does the sphere have? Zero. My school starts at 9 a.m. every day and gets over at 4 p.m. How many hours do I spend in the school? I'm afraid. Eight. That's up. Pythagoras team, are you ready? Yes. Your team leader, Vivan, will answer. Vivan is unmute. The yes. others are requested to be on mute mode. Very soon, the questions will be displayed. Team Pythagoras, your turn now. Pythagoras, are you ready? Yes. Okay. Your time starts now. Double of 12. 24. Smallest four-digit number. 1,000. 20 more than 25. 25. If today is Wednesday, what day was the day before yesterday? Monday. Four tens and three ones make 34. True or false? False. In a necklace, every third bead is red. Will the fifth bead be also red? True. How many faces does a cone have? Zero. And time's up. Okay. The next round, rapid fire round, is for team Fibonacci. The team leader, are you ready? Please unmute. And the others are required to be on mute mode. Very soon, the questions will be displayed. And your time starts now. Half of 22. 11. Largest two-digit two number plus one. 100. 40, more than 10. 50. If today is Friday, what day will it be day after tomorrow? Sunday. Two tens and six ones make 62. True or false? 
Fourth, which shape does the flat face of a cylinder look like? Mm, pass. In a queue, every third person is a child. Will the eighth person be an adult or a child? Uh, an adult. Martin started from home at 10 and time's up. The next team for rapid fire round is Team Bhaskara. Your team leader will answer. The others are requested to be on mute mode. Very soon, your questions will be displayed. Okay, well, your time starts now. Double of 35. Pass. Smallest three digit number. Smallest. 100. 20, more than 35. Uh, 55. If today is Tuesday, what day was it day before yesterday? Sunday. 20 tens make 30. True or false? False. In a queue, every second person is a boy. Will the seventh person be a boy or a girl? A girl. What shape does the face of a cuboid look like? I'm sorry, time is up. Team Thales will be facing the rapid fire, now, fire round now. Your team leader, Sanvi, will answer. Sanvi, please unmute. And the others are requested to be on mute mode. Very soon, your questions will be on the screen. Your time starts now. Double of 14. 28. Greatest four-digit number. Uh, 1,000. 20 more than 35. Fifty-five. If today is Sunday, what day was it day before yesterday? Friday. Five tens and six ones make sixty-five. True or false? False. In a bracelet, every fourth bead is blue. Will the sixth bead be also blue? False. How many faces does the cylinder have? Uh, two. Okay, we'll grant you that and time's up. Well, that was really thrilling. The teachers are working on the score sheet and very soon they will share it. And the contestants, all of you were awesome. Now we are waiting with bated breath for the result. Well, the score sheet is here. Let's take a look. The final scores are Aryabhatta, 35 points. Ramanujan, 60 points. Pythagoras, 50 points. Fibonacci, 40 points. Bhaskara, 50 points. And Thales, 45. So they, I, there's a tie between two teams. That is Pythagoras and uh, Bhaskara. Yes, there's a tie between uh, Pythagoras and Bhaskara. Since they have scored the same, we have a tiebreaker round. A question will be asked to both the team leaders. You have to tell the answer quickly. Whosoever comes up with the correct answer first will be awarded a better position. Please note, you will not raise your hand. You will simply call out the answer loudly. The leaders of Pythagoras and Bhaskara, you are asked to unmute now. All the other participants, are to be on mute. Very soon, your question will be on the screen. Please call out the answer loudly. May we have the spotlight on these two? Your time starts now. Eight blocks. Which team is it? 
No. It should be A. No, you can't be discussing. The A. first person who has given us the answer, the we are goddess. going to take that. By the goddess. By the goddess. Okay, we'll stop. Let the, let the scorers judge you and we'll come back to you. The correct answer is nine blocks. Oh, so nobody got it right. Okay. Since we'll have a second tiebreaker. Now remember. Oh my goodness. The team leaders are Pythagoras and Bhaskara. You will not be discussing. You will just blurt out the answer. Okay. Look for a pattern. Okay. Your time starts now. Look for a pattern to find the value of the question mark in the diagram below. Whosoever gives the answer first will take that. Five. 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 Okay. Five. We'll stop. Six. Again. The correct answer is six. I don't think so. Anybody gave the answer. So whosoever says the answer first and it is incorrect, the other contestant will benefit out of it. Okay. So we'll be checking the scores now and giving you the final update. <gasps> Third tiebreaker too, okay. Now remember, we will wait for both of you to answer. Team Pythagoras and Team Bhaskara, the team leaders, please be ready. Please unmute yourself. And very soon you will see the question on the screen. And whosoever gives the correct answer will benefit. Both of you will get a chance to uh, answer. And your question is, replace the question mark and your time starts now. Okay, I think it's D. I think that should be. My answer is D. Fine. What about the other? I think it should. I think it should be uh, C. Okay. Well, one has given D and the other uh, has given C. Can we have the correct answer, please? The correct answer is C. So we'll, we'll see the score sheet very soon. Now let's have a look at the final scores. Okay. So the second runner up is Team Pythagoras. The first runner up is Team Bhaskara. And the winner is Ramanujan. Congratulations to all.
Congratulations, teams. You are the winners of the maths quiz, Battle of the Brains, 2021-22. It's been rightly said, champions keep playing until they get it right. And you really did, especially the tiebreaker round. A lot of hard work, dedication, and the will to go that extra mile has brought you all to this victory. To the teams who did not get the top three positions, I would only say success is measured by what we have done to prepare for the competition, and all the teams did their best. We hope the competition will be a sweet memory to all. Wow. Ramanujan is the winner, followed by Bhaskara and Pythagoras next. Thank you, participants, for your enthusiastic participation. Your confidence and enthusiasm was impressive. Thank you, Rekha Management. We are grateful to the coordinators, Ms. Lalita Ambika Ramakrishnan and Ms. Anita Tripathi for guiding us throughout and giving us valuable feedback. Special thanks to Ms. Deepshika Tripathi, Ms. Monica Gite, and Mr. Azhar Malik, the IT and the logistics teams who helped making this virtual event a success. We truly appreciate your efforts. The brain, sweat, and toil behind the well-planned questions in Battle of the Brains was Ms. Prabjot's and Ms. Deepa's. Thank you for making it so interesting. Last but not the least, we thank the parents for their continued support and cooperation. A very big thank you from all of us.